Hi, this is Jade from Handshake, and this video is going to walk you through how to schedule a drop-in appointment. We're going to start by selecting appointments from the left-hand navigation bar. And we're going to open up the check-in kiosk right away here and go through the process of a student coming into the office and checking in for a drop-in. I'm going to select check-in kiosk from the top right tabs. And we can see that now there's the option to choose an office location for this check-in kiosk. You can leave it as all offices. I'm going to go ahead and change this to the Houghton office. And I'm going to log out here to simulate what it would look like if it was open at the front of the Career Center. I'm also going to check the box to allow drop-in appointments. And then I'm going to launch the check-in kiosk. I'm going to go ahead and type in my email address as a student. And then select Go. It's important to remember here that students can check in with their username, email address, or card ID if it's set up that way. And then I'm going to select Drop an Appointment from this list. I've successfully checked in for this drop an appointment. As a Career Services staff member, now I can go back into that Appointments tab and look in the Waiting Room. And when I look in the Waiting Room, I'm going to see a list of the students who have checked in for a drop-in appointment in the order that they arrived. So I can grab the first one, start that appointment, meet with the student, complete it, come back and start the next. If you have multiple staff members taking these drop-ins, then they can take them as they come in by starting them, assigning them to themselves, and then taking notes on the appointment. It's also important to notice this checkbox to enable a chime for new check-ins. You can, you can check that box to make sure that you're notified when a new student checks in by a nice chime. We'll go ahead and select Start Appointment next to the first drop-in. And this is going to allow you to enter that new appointment for the student. All the information is pre-filled, even the time that it's starting. The appointment medium we can change, in this case it's going to be face-to-face. And the student might be here at this point, so you might want to fill in this help requested with why they're there. And then you'll go ahead and select Create when you're ready. It's going to take you directly to the appointment, and it's already started because of the drop-in status. So now you can take your notes, fill out any staff member surveys associated, check out the student's profile, and add any comments that you'd like to communicate with the student back and forth. Once this is done, you can go ahead and complete this appointment. If you click on waiting room again, you'll see that now that student has fallen off of the waiting room, and you can check in the next student and start that appointment if you're ready. So we've walked through how a student would check in for a drop-in in your office, how you would pick up that student off the waiting room list, fill out the appointment details, and then complete the appointment. 